Let's enjoy our music. We are here. We are on the Shining bright into the future with rise light. Yes, yes, we are in to win it. In a revolution, this is the pace at which it goes. We are excited. We want to put in our very best. We want to do the best because in this kind of a revolution, a revolution that is built for people, by the people, it is built around the people. People, humans become the center of this kind of revolution. This is what we are doing because Mr. Ash Mufara built on passive based on human beings, not anything else. Humans are in the center and he wants to uplift humanity from the heart. He says, you cannot uplift humanity without a heart. That heart means a good heart. And this is why he's here today. It's been more than five years and he is still doing it. And he says, nobody can ever stop on passive, no human can never stop on passive. The human being that can st stop on passive is yet to be born because why? On passive 
is a God-ordained company, divine intervention. And uh, he is working tirelessly together with the, the, uh, the team of engineers and builders and high-tech people. So we have to play our part by building the foundation so that when time comes, we get to reach every child in the world. And as you know, we cannot reach children without reaching the parents, the caregivers, and the adults around these children. So we are the soldiers of Unpassive. We need to build a future. So thank you guys so much. I see Juanita was the first person here. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Juanita. And thank you guys, everyone that is here. Thank you. I can see uh, one of our art officers is here, Koshal, and our sister Sharon. Nancy is here. Mohan, Mohan Das V is here. And uh, Ruth Pace, Jody Rice, and uh, thank you guys so much, so wonderful. And I'm saying hello to everyone on Facebook that is watching presently and in the other uh, channels. We are here to be sure that we help children with clean, safe, valuable tools, AI tools that we can in integrate into our various endeavors to help children. And in this case, One Global Movement, we are here for children because there is nowhere in the world or in any family, any society that you can talk without children. They are the center. And we are here to help children with tools that they can use to build on their hopes and their dreams and also to defeat hunger, illiteracy, poverty, abuse, homelessness, and all the social, social challenges that uh, plague our children worldwide. And we do so with value, with safety, with, 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 with cleanliness, purity, with high integrity, with the fear of God, because this is the reason why we are here from Unpassive. If not of Unpassive, we'll never be here. And we can never get tired talking about that because the biggest, biggest word, according to me, the biggest word in the world is a thank you. I don't see any other word that I can say. And that's all we can give Mr. Ashman Farah for bringing us together. But we don't just say that, but we take action. Gratitude with action touches the heartstrings of God. And we continue to do things that will change the world for the better. Because when you're changing yourself, you're changing your family. If you, we did not strive to change other children, our children will still be at the same spot. Because if, as we're changing our children, we're changing the other children. When you change a child in the United States, a child in Cameroon, a child in India, a child in Canada, a child all over the world is affected because this is a positive kind of vibration. And the same thing too, if we are doing things that are not okay, what affects your children or children in your community affects the other children around the world. That is just the way nature is. So we want to make sure that the world is affected the same way positively, especially our children, which is why we are always here in One Global Movement. So thank you guys so much for really being there, loving and being present and investing in children because this is the noblest of jobs in the world. I don't think I would even want to do anything else. Since I was born, I've been serving, serving, serving. And uh, I still want to serve until I die. So thank you guys so much for being here. I must admit that, but I want to thank those who were present at 1 p.m. today as well. And I also want to admit that uh, I made a mistake. You know, we create so many stream yards. And uh, yesterday, I mistakenly clicked on the one for today, for yesterday. Yesterday, the, the theme was, it was supposed to be uh, Mindset Series number 42, but I mistakenly clicked on Mindset Series number 43, which said, let us welcome our children, right? And today's is supposed to be, uh, no, this one for today is supposed to be for, for, for yesterday. The one for yesterday was supposed to be for today. So this one is supposed to say, let's celebrate children no matter how small or big their achievements are was supposed to be for for yesterday and then the one for yesterday let's welcome children was supposed to be for today however i'm saying hopefully it's making sense because i'm a little bit confused here because when i saw this and uh, this was not good so hopefully 
But thank you guys so much. All the same, all of these things, we have to exhaust everything to make sure that we are building tools for these kids that they can use to navigate live, use to navigate their, uh, the education, they use to navigate their businesses, their, their careers, or whatever they want in life, even in friendship, even uh, in communities at home, wherever. So we want to be able to provide these tools and thank God that uh, we're going to do it now, with, uh, which is cost effective. It's going to be accessible no matter where in the world, because Unpassive is going to get to anywhere. There is no geographical uh, uh, barriers with Unpassive. It's going to reach every human on the surface of the earth. And so it's good that we train our children so that when time comes, they find their place, their gift in Unpassive and begin to work on it. Because like Mr. Ash Mufara says, we are in the greatest shapes of our lives. And I accept that, I believe it, and I have faith in that and we all should because what you constantly put your mind on and you constantly do it's going to grow multiply and stay in your life being that we are here as founders of unpassive or brand ambassadors of unpassive or better still the soldiers of unpassive this is what we are doing and we are doing our part here. I highly appreciate all of you here. Keep spreading the word. Let us not keep this to ourselves. Because if one uh, one global movement is for, for children, it should be for every child. From one day old to 26 years old, the young adults included. Let us not keep it to ourselves. I know that sometimes it can take you more than 10 times to, to uh, share something with people for them to be able to believe you. But... We do not give up because this is not a time to give up. If we take a look into the world, we see the way the world is going, especially when it concerns our children and the older generations, then we never want to stop for a moment. We keep presenting it. And I'm going to be putting the, the, the mission of One Global Movement that I've already written uh, somewhere so that especially in our WhatsApp group, One Global Movement WhatsApp group, so that when you want to share, you have something to tell somebody. But you already know what we are all about. We are about providing valuable, clean, safe tools with divine intervention, kingdom connection to children, and eliminating hunger, illiteracy, poverty, and all other social ills that face our children worldwide. And we cannot do it alone. Through uh, uh, founding members of Unpassive, this is how we spread in different directions to get to those children. Please share, share, and share. This is not for Mundi. It is not for any of us here. It is for children. When we all do our due diligence, when we do what we're supposed to do, in the end, we will be the beneficiaries as well. So let us do it. Share and share. And sometimes you need to go. Because some people have the smartphone, but they don't know how to use it. I'm saying that uh, from experience with my mom. She has this smartphone. She does not know how to use it. So we literally have to turn on the YouTube for her. And now she will always just go there and click and watch One Global Movement or other things. And she too is a founding member. So we need to go to homes in, in, in uh, uh, social gatherings, in churches, in schools, Wherever, whatever we can do or to our neighbors, say this is what we are doing because we shouldn't just focus only on, I want to get rich. I want to get this money. I want to do this. No, if you don't build a solid foundation for what you want in life, guess what? You can get all what you want in life, but that thing is just, just going to be like uh, some kind of a plague to you because the foundation was not there. We want our children to know that everything that has value, everything that has to last for posterity takes time to build, you nurture, you take a look, you dismantle it, you do it again, just like Mr. Ash Mufara and the building team are doing with the products. So we're going to stay fast, we're going to do it all. We're going to die, like Mr. Ashman Farah says, because for me, quitting is not an option. Considering the life that I live now is the kind of life that I never lived as a child. So what I'm doing now, I want to be able to give back because so much was invested in me. And we've heard it said, he or she that so much is invested in, so much more is required, right? 
So this is very, very important for all of us. We are in a revolution. And if on passive is built based on the foundation for the future, the future are our children, one global movement is that future because every child gets to, to, to be counted here in one global movement. No matter your background, no matter your orientation, no matter the, the level of your education or your bank account, it does not matter. We all count because we all bring our uniqueness. We all bring our uniqueness to one global movement and see how we can come together and do things. That's why I say, feel free. This platform is for all of us. Feel free to contribute. If you want to hop on or you think that you don't want to be in the chat, come on here. If we are... We are fighting for all inclusion for our children. We are fighting for equality for our children. We are fighting for our children to be heard. We're fighting to give choices to our children. That is the same thing that we want to do here. We want everybody to belong here. If you have a topic that you want to talk about, feel free. If you don't want to talk about, bring it to us. Bring it to us. What do you think maybe you see in your family or something? It's, it doesn't have to be a problem. Celebration. Graduations are, have already started. We want to be able to celebrate these children because a lot of times these children are not celebrated well enough. We want to celebrate them. We want to, to work with them. We want to see, uh, uh, we want to feel what they are feeling. We want to laugh with them. We want to play with them. We want to do a lot of things. Everything. We are looking so much on the positive side of things because. Even when there is a little bit of discomfort or negativity, when you calm down your mind, you teach a child to calm down and focus, they are still going to see some positivity in that situation that is negative without uh, a flaring of their emotions. And uh, I'm saying this from experience because that is what my grandmother taught me. And I had to begin to see positive situations in the negative things that happened to me. Right? So... And uh, negative things build you. If you don't die, you have your breath. It builds you to become stronger, wiser, and more determined to do more. And in order to, to uplift more people, more children around the world. So I just get so excited talking about uh, One Global Movement because I just want to thank God for life. Because I am alive. I want to make sure that every child is rich. And those children can only be rich through us, the unpassive brand ambassadors. And if children in your community are not rich, then you don't blame the children. You don't blame the parents. We blame but us because children, children, and children are going to be rich, even those that are coming because every day children are being born. And so it is a continuous revolution. So thank you guys so much. Now we are talking today. We are in the mindset series number 43. I don't know if I mix up or what, but I don't know. But let's talk about that. So the theme is let's celebrate children no matter how small or big their achievements are. The reason I coined this topic is I was one of those children that was never celebrated by my father. And I have that lag and I, I just always want to celebrate children because I feel that children are not celebrated well enough. And when children are not celebrated for their achievement, their successes, even when they fail, we still have to celebrate them, knowing fully well that these children tried their best, they never gave up, and uh, they are still going on and on and on. And so they deserve to be celebrated, right? And uh, no matter how small it is, we have to celebrate children. We don't have to nag. We don't have to put them down. We don't have to uh, call them some names that are not okay. But before we celebrate children, it's always a good thing to teach two sides of everything to a child. Life is not all that rosy, rosy, rosy. But we can make it rosy. But in that rosiness, there is always some thorns or some discomfort. We want to teach children all these things. We don't want them to think that life is just exactly like just robbing it. Everything is okay. It's okay. No, a lot of times it's not okay, but most of the time it's okay. It's just because of society and all of this negative screen and all those things that uh, some people uh, turn to think that there is too much negativity, negativity in the world than a positivity. But I think that there is more positivity than negativity because we need to program our mind 
to see the goodness in everything, every situation, and every person. When we program our mind like that, then we also teach our children that know that sometimes things can go this way. Because in everything in life, there has to be these two sides. There has to be two, even with things that are so good to us, like you love a, a, a certain dish so much, if you overeat it, now it becomes a problem, right? And we chew food, sometimes we bite our tongue. There is always that side. But when you build these tools in children, they will know how to pull this to, uh, these tools out from themselves and use it when they encounter situations like this. I bet you all this bullying or all this calling of names or all this, oh, you are this, you are that, you're poor, or those things, they will just laugh and say, you know what, because they don't know what they're doing. And that's what we do. So now it's let's celebrate children no matter how small or big their achievements are. And uh, we start with our quote, children are the world's most valuable resources and they are the, the best hope for the future. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that quote. Children are the world's most valuable resources and they are the best hope for the future. And the second quote says, we wish every childhood is carefree. Playing in the mud, rain, excuse me, and sunshine. And why do I say that? You know, uh, sometimes when kids, when I was growing up, we played a lot in the rain and in the mud. We were happy. And I brought this quote because uh, about a week ago, I like to, to carry out research on children, add on top of what I know. And then uh, I saw the, a picture of, uh, I think there were about five or six kids. They put on their like their their winter uh, uh, suits, and they were there was this pipe that busted. The water was just going all over, and the the mud everywhere. These kids were there playing, jumping, having fun in the mud, and everything. I'm like, wow, this is carefree. Instead of saying, don't play, this is dirty, this is dirty. Those things are not dirty. Soil is it might be dirty, but guess what comes from dirt. The best things in the world come from dirt. If you don't eat food, food comes from dirt. If you take two seats, you dump one on cemented floor and you dump one uh, on dirt, which one is going to grow? I bet you we know that the one that is being dumped on dirt is going to grow. And so sometimes when, when people throw, throw dirt or negative things at you, don't worry because you're fertile ground. That's what my grandmother taught me. When people see that you're doing something good, they're going to throw a lot of dirt at you. Don't sit there and get mad. Don't sit there and try to talk back because you are fertile ground. Every valuable thing on earth they gets thrown a lot of garbage at because they are fertile ground. Look at Mr. Ash Mufare. Do you know what he's going through? Through a lot because they realize that the monopolists and the, 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 the scammers are let me not call them scammer, but they are. Because if you are selling a product that doesn't have value for an exorbitant amount of money, then you are scamming the people. And now with Mr. Ash Mufara bringing all these clean, valuable, safe, and high ethical standard products, people don't like that. And now they start throwing dirt at him. But guess what? He's fertile grounds. Because what we are doing, this revolution is going to change the world forever. So thank you. Now, so what is celebration? What do you understand by celebration? Begin to put in the chat there. I know that there is something in the India today. I posted on it. I don't know how to pronounce it now. It's a celebration going on in India. Know that we are also celebrating with all of you. I posted it on uh, social media. So celebration is joyous, is communal. It is acknowledgement or observance of a significant event. Sometimes it doesn't have significant. What is significant to you might not be significant to me. What is significant to other people might not be significant to you. And significance lies in the eyes of that person. Sometimes we realize, we, we think, oh, why am I celebrating you? This thing is very insignificant. No matter how small our children do, we need to celebrate them. We need to celebrate them. That's why we celebrate life on One Global Movement here, birthdays and achievements and, and failures, because failure is a normal part 
of success. And we want to be able to normalize that because they didn't quit, they just failed. That shows that they need to learn more, which is a learning curve that we all go through. So now maybe it's a milestone. Imagine how uh, your baby start walking when they start they're standing up they're trying to walk they fall and they cry they stand up again they want to make it they stand up they do it again and then they they, they give one step two step they fell <laughs> they fall to the ground and they do it again again and again i enjoy that because i watch my son do that but they don't give up you see babies are so determined they don't give up and so it might be a milestone or an occasion or maybe just maybe you look at the way your your uh, children are behaving at home. The, the good behavior is rewarded, right? It's rewarded. Not all the time. It shouldn't have to be like um, uh, that is something that the kids will say, you know what, I'm entitled to that. No, you are teaching them in a way that it is good to celebrate people, the way that your heart teaches you. And celebration does not necessarily mean money, giving exorbitant amount of money to the children. Sometimes for me, a, a celebration to my son, like birthday, I buy a book, a book, or you write a letter, craft it yourself, or you design a card, because we can do a lot of things by ourselves, because that thing comes from you authentically, not from another person. So we design it that way, and uh, that thing, it will mean a lot. And that will be in, in the family memoir, in the archives of the family, when you see it, you are happy, right? So. It might be, uh, it often, this celebration sometimes involve activities, sometimes rituals or customs or ceremonies uh, that express happiness, gratitude, or commemoration, right? Commemoration, you're remembering. Uh, maybe you're remembering your parents or you're remembering somebody somehow. Or maybe your child is studying abroad. You want to celebrate that. You want to commemorate that, remember that, that at least this child left home and is studying in a foreign country. This is something to celebrate because it's not easy to leave your comfort zone to go somewhere else. We look for ways. Let it be a family tradition to celebrate these children, you know? Celebrations can vary widely depending on your cultural or family values, religious or personal context but they generally generally serve to strengthen social bonds, foster a sense of belonging and create lasting memories. If you're like me every day, it's a point of duty to, to text my son or I write a prayer and that prayer stays in my journal right here. And I do that all the time. I wanna make sure he goes to school out of state. You know, I wanna reach them. We wanna make sure that we keep them uh, 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 we keep them company because a lot of these kids, sometimes, you know, they are focused on studies, but they are also lonely. And we want to be able to do that with them because when you build that tradition, that culture, the child will like it. Like every uh, Saturday I can text. Sometimes I know that he, he doesn't have time to reply to those texts because he's busy. That's okay. But I, I will still text at least two to three times a week. And then, on Saturdays, we have our all connect. We have family fun time on all connect. We talk, we play, we are enjoying the futures, you know? So that is one way. You design your own things according to the way your family loves to do things. And all of these things are based on positive, positive activities that you find a way to celebrate your children, right? Whether it is a birthday, graduation, baptism, wedding, holiday, or a cultural festival, celebrations bring people together. That's a way of bonding to share in the collective experiences of joy, belonging, appreciation, value. You're being valued. You will value our children. Children do better when these things are being done. Even you and I, look at us here. What if I, uh, I, 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 you did not even say appreciate me, I didn't appreciate you. Do you know how it will, it will not feel comfortable at all? So appreciation is the biggest word. And we want to be able to do this with our children all the time. So what are the benefits of celebrating children? Lots and lots of benefits. Begin to write your own in the chat here. Welcome, DS Nayak. Welcome, everyone.
Thank you so much. Lassa is here. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, what are the benefits? Lots and lots of benefits if we celebrate our children. We cannot celebrate children without celebrating ourselves. Sometimes you celebrate yourself. You don't have to wait for somebody to celebrate you. Uh, and we teach our children the same concept. So they don't care if they see something that they've never known or is different from what they learn. They know that they have that self-confidence that I celebrate myself according to the way that I can do that, not because I want to copy from somebody. So sometimes there's nobody to celebrate. You go pat yourself. You say, go girl, Yvonne. Good job, Yvonne. Good job. You say, good job, Sharon. Good job, Ruth. Good job, Maklesa. Good job, Nancy. Pat yourself. When you do that, you build that in you. You become so accustomed to you're just so happy. And sometimes when you fail, you accept that failure and look for ways to do it because failure is just part of success. Very important. So number one, when you celebrate children, it boosts their, their sense of self, self-esteem. Their self-esteem is, it goes right up. They're so happy when you celebrate them. Celebrating children acknowledges their achievements and efforts, the effort they put into something. The thing didn't just go well the first time or the second time, but that effort that they put into not give up, they have to keep doing it until it finally succeeds. And then it boosts their self-esteem and confidence to know that, oh, I can do this. And our children are very smart, smarter than all of us, I'm telling you. They, their brains are so spongy that they soak things. Some of the words and conversation that uh, we carry with our son, I'm like, wow, this boy, I don't know. But because they are smart, all children are smart. If we just give them that room, create a very welcoming environment, a very uh, uh, inclusive environment, a happy, positive environment, these children will excel. Some of them that uh, have maybe a le learning disability. They excel at other things. I watch um, um, these uh, uh, girl, beautiful girl, I think from uh, the, uh, 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 I don't know, from Mexico or where. She was born without limbs, no arms, but her voice. Guess what she does? She plays the piano with her toes. Imagine that. Just imagine that. I posted it on social media. I'm like, wow, what do we have to complain about? Nothing. She is, her voice is so, so beautiful, so spectacular. I'm like, wow, I can't even sing like her. And yet she is playing with the, 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 the toes and she didn't miss a thing. Not at all. And she got the, the golden buzzer. I even hit the table. I thought I was the one hitting that golden buzzer. <laughs> you know, I hit the table so hard. <laughs> oh, so yes, children, when we do that to our children, this positive reinforcement helps them to develop a healthy self-image. Because a lot of children, because of the environment and the TV, and sometimes even from home, they develop a very very unhealthy self-image of themselves. They think that they don't measure up. They don't have what it takes. They think that they are not handsome or they're not beautiful because of us. We want our, we want to be able to be the ones to validate our children. We want to be the ones to tell them first that they're beautiful, that they have what it takes, that they are blessed and highly favored, that they have the successes in their DNA, that they were created to win, to thrive, not somebody else hearing from outside, you know? So we want to build our children, starting from the womb, not just when they come out, but the first five years is very critical. If we don't build that foundation in children, when they grow up, they want to, ret they want to retrace their steps to go back to that stage in their life that they missed. And we don't want that for our children, right? So number two, encourage learning. When we celebrate children, it encourages learning. When children feel valued and appreciated, they are more motivated to learn and explore a lot of avenues. They want to go here, they want to go there, and then they say, oh, mommy, daddy, look, this is what I did. Or they're sharing with their siblings, sharing with their friends, because they are excited, because we know fully well that these are the things that motivate them. Celebrating their successes, whether big or small, fosters 
a love for learning and encourages them to continue serving and striving for excellence. And excellence, excellence to your children might be different from excellence from mine. We need to know that children are different, like we all are different. We do not push the excellence of another child onto the other child. That, that would not be building self-esteem in those children. We celebrate that child uniquely where they are and take them from where they are to where they want to be and continue to celebrate them. You will realize that you have built a lot of wealth in yourself by building it in your children. Very important. So number three, is when you celebrate a children, it strengthens bonds, relationship. It really strengthens relationship, positive relationship, happy relationship. And when a child is happy, they're healthy. When they're healthy, they're wealthy. When they're wealthy, they have everything in life. They do. What else is there? When they are happy, you celebrate them. They're happy. They're healthy. They're wealthy. They're successful. And so they have succeeded and they're apt to do it to other people around them, to their, their communities. They're apt to share that. This is very important. So celebrating children strengthens the bond between you, if you, between the parents and the children. When you celebrate your children, you see a lot of kids that uh, are being celebrated that are loved and nurtured well. They play around with their parents. You can tell. And uh, you, and then you see when the children are young, when you go to a home, the home is not in, uh, is not well organized. You see toys here, you see toys there. And, uh, you will know that this is a home that celebrates children. That is a home that celebrates children. But if you go to a home where you have these little ones there and the home is so organized, you don't see toys around, you don't see, know that they're not doing well with those children. You have to know that because where there are children, they need to play, they need to touch toys, they need to draw, they need to, they need to color crayons here and there. You just, just uh, uh, make the proof uh, save your environment for your children and watch these children blossom. Watch them being happy and healthy and they grow and they succeed. Very, very important. So when you uh, when you celebrate, it strengthens and, and do a lot of great things so that it creates a positive interactions and memories. Those memories will stay here forever that contribute to a, a strong and supportive relationship between parents and children, mother and father. They see you guys modeling it. They are apt to do the same. So, and when you celebrate children, it will foster a positive behavior. A lot of children have behaviors because they are not celebrated enough. Some children have not, their birthdays have never been celebrated. Mine was not for years until later on. And so, but it doesn't bother me because I didn't even just know. I didn't see a lot of birthdays being celebrated. But now I know because those things that dampen the memory of, of young people, of our children, we need to. So recognizing and celebrating our children's accomplishments reinforces positive behavior. Remember that. When, when you see what comes out of people's mouth, that is exactly what comes from within them. Somebody doesn't just say something unless that thing they've thought about it and it's been sitting there within them and now they say it. What we see here, this is the positive environment because this is exactly what is coming out of all of us here to support one another because we are so much interested in making sure that our children grow. So recognizing and celebrating children's accomplishments reinforces positive behavior. It encourages them to repeat those behaviors and motives and then to engage in constructive activities over and over because that then becomes like second nature to our children and they just keep doing it. So much so that even if they go out there and meet with a negative behavior, of course, as children, they're going to explore to see what it is. But guess what? When they realize that this is not taking me anywhere, 
guess what? They fall back on what we, the parents, the caregivers and adults are really teaching them through celebration. Celebration is very important. You're molding a whole child. You're, you're, you're doing it from all angles, not one and not the other. Because all of these things that we are teaching, they might not come at the same time. They will be coming before you know, you see, oh, your children is behaving in a way. You'll be like, wow, I didn't know that he was even listening or she was listening. But they listen because some of the things that I teach my son later, you see him doing it. And he will even tell him, mommy, you taught me this. I'm so happy. I'm lucky to have a mother like you. That is, you see how the child appreciates and celebrate the parents. And you see these children, when you celebrate them, they will also celebrate you. They celebrate you. You will see them surprised. They will surprise you with a lot of things, you know? So when you uh when you celebrate today also promotes emotional development emotional development so celebrating children helps them recognize and manage their emotions appropriately they know where to say certain things and uh, where not to say them when to say them when not to say them and they are also they, they are apt to empathize they have that empathy for other children that just they don't just sit and say things they have empathy all of these mindset things are very important because nobody grows in life without having their inner core be their heart their, their thinking being in line with these values otherwise no matter how successful you are or no matter how successful you want your children to be they're not going to be. They can be as successful as being a, a billionaire. But when those moral values are not there, they, those children will just be miserable with their success. And the same thing to apply to us. So you know, uh, when we promote uh, emotional development in children through celebration, it teaches them how to ex express joy, how to even express themselves when they are frustrated instead of uh, taking, uh, taking it uh, on another person in anger or in uh, bitterness. Anger is a good thing. We can manage anger. We can deal with that. But when a child becomes so bitter, that's not a good thing for their health. It's like a cancer that is eating them, even us. We don't want to become bitter, but when we are angry, we can easily manage it. So it also, the, the, they are apt to be very grateful and pride. They have this pride, sense of self-pride and self-what and dignity in themselves that they don't walk like they are going like this with their chips on their shoulders, but that one that comes from within them, you know, and uh, fostering emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, especially we are dealing with AI. We are in the, the, the AI technology world and it's going to be that way. So they will manage their emotional intelligence aptly so and then they also enhance the social skills when you celebrate children their social skills are enhanced through celebrations children learn the importance of teamwork cooperation empathy and uh, good communication they understand the value they understand the importance they understand how to put themselves in the shoes of another person to feel what the other person is feeling because you celebrate them, right? Celebration is so, so important. They understand the value of sharing, sharing is caring, the value of sharing their successes, even their failure, they will share them without shame or fear that somebody is going to laugh at them. You know, they will share this successes with others and supporting their peers, which enhances their social skills. This is so, so important. And then they also, through celebration, our children learn to cultivate resilience. We talk about these things over and over from different angles because that is the way life is. That is the way we were created with these things. And we want to make sure that we really expose our children and really give them these tools to put within them so that when in a situation, because mommy and daddy is not going to be there forever, these children will know how to pull these things and do these tools and do better with them in any situation that they find themselves in. We want our children to know that, you know what? You are important. You are smart. You are intelligent. No matter what the world tells them or the TV is telling them or whatever they are telling them, our children know, you know what? I am the most handsome boy in the world. If you tell us, my son, my son knows that he's one of the most handsome boys. And the one thing I love about him, he likes to share. He doesn't say, I'm the only handsome boy. He says, I am one of the most. 
And this is what we want to build in our children. It starts from the womb. When your child is four or five months and start moving, what are you telling your child? What are you prophesying on your child? What kind of prayers? What are you telling God? What are you asking God for, for your own children? Very important. Very, very important. We want to be able to raise 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now and more generations of children that came through on Passive and One Global Movement because it is based on humans, based on the future, based on children. So where children cultivate resilience when they are celebrated and, and this teaches them that setbacks and failures are part of the learning process. We talk about this again and again. We do not want to bash our children just because we have paid tuition and this child goes and fails the course and we, we start bashing on them because, oh, we just feel like you made me wasted my money. You didn't do well. This is not right. Oh, I tell you. No, no, no. We don't do that because we are teaching them to do exactly the way we are doing. I love children so much so that, you know, when I was in Cameroon, I, I, I helped to, to, to just help a lot of children. And sometimes my uncle would be like, this child just did something wrong. Why are you not beating this child? Why would you beat a child? Even if in my culture we beat children, if you want to beat a child, you must have talked to the child several times. And before you even beat the child, you explain to the child why you're going to beat that child. And there is a particular way of beating a child so that you do not abuse the child. Whipping and beating the child all over the child's body is not a good way. In my culture, like the way I was beaten by my father, you show your hand like this. They'll go there like this, this other one, or on your butt. That was huge. And I will cry forever, you know. But that was a good way. And they'll explain to you, first of all, this is what you've done. This is what you've done. It is not correct. And for that reason, corporal punishment, which is okay. So long as you're not beating the child all over the body or with a belt or with a stick or something. We don't want that for our children. So it is so important. Resilience, it helps them to develop resilience and perseverance, enabling them to bounce back from setbacks and challenges with a positive attitude, knowing that what goes up will come down someday. And what is down will rise up and fly. That is just the, the rule of nature. Sometimes you are up, sometimes you're down. That is the rule of nature. You, there is nobody that stays up all the time. That's how why we have, oh, I did not sleep well. Now I, I feel like I want to go back to bed. Or you see, snow. There is snow and then it changes your mood. So we are up and down. But so long as we know that we are positive, no matter where we are, we're still going to go up. When we are down, we utilize that space while we are down because we are down there for a reason. Don't just be down and say, oh, I'm down and uh, I've been defeated or uh, those people are, are going uh, faster and higher than me. No, no, no. When you're down, enjoy that down and do whatever it takes to enjoy where you and be grateful for it. When you're up, you do the same because fluctuations in life are normal. You're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. Those fluctuations are normal. We want to normalize these things for children. Otherwise, they'll feel beaten emotionally. They'll feel like they don't belong. They, are, they will sap their self-worth and dignity. We don't want that. And uh, lastly, when we celebrate children, it encourages creativity and innovation. Imagine our products. Imagine uh, Obles. Oh, Academy, oh, Joy, I formulated one, oh, woman, you'll hear it tomorrow. I didn't know. I thought, oh, woman was there, but in my head, because I'm so much with unpassive, I sleep and drink and eat unpassive. And I just said, oh, woman. So uh, one of our panelists is going to be talking about oh, woman tomorrow. Maybe Ash Mufara will someday uh, uh, formulate oh, woman, because he has high respect for women. And so it's look about look at all connect look at beautiful with all the beautiful uh, futures just look at everything this is the time for us to share 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 and share when we share it according to the way people can understand making sure that they understand everything and children and we don't force people because remember mr ash mufara says we are going to be the haunted we're not going to be any hunter they're going to haunt us 
They don't come today, they'll come tomorrow. So don't worry, have that confidence and teach your children the same. But we want to make sure that we help our own families because when we do help these families, together we can then begin to expand out and help other people. So when we celebrate children, it encourages creativity and innovation in them. Celebrating children's creativity and unique talents. Is your child an engineer? Is your child a musician? Can they sing? Can they play a musical instrument? Can they cook? Can they clean? What can they do? We have to celebrate their talents because it encourages them to think outside, outside the box. Because children, a lot of children in the world have been so confined by all these social challenges that are going on in the world. Sometimes the family also confines these children. We don't want our children to just think inside a narrow box that has been set for them. We want to give them choices. We want to get them involved. We want to include them. We want to love them. We want to nurture them. We want to celebrate them. We want to, 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 to make them just thrive in all directions because they deserve to, because they are our children. And God gave us those children for a reason. So celebrating children's creativity and uniqueness and their talent encourages them to think outside of the box and know that they can explore so many avenues and interest and find their way and their identity in life without us intervening. The scripture says that teach the children the way they should go and let them lead the way. Teach your children, watch them grow and let them lead the way. And we also follow them because... They were born for such a time as this. You and I, if you're like me, I'm learning all this high technology. I've been using the computer for quite some time now, but I wasn't born with it. I use it to do my research, to do my schoolwork, to do other things. But now I'm getting into the into details, the details of AI technology, on passive AI technology. So this is very important. If this will foster innovation and problem solving skills as they learn to approach tasks from different perspectives and we celebrate them along the way. So overall, celebrating children is very, very important. It should be part and parcel of our lives. It's essential for their holistic, whole child, holistic development. The whole child. You're not just going to celebrate the child now. The next moment you start bashing negative things at the child. You're not just going to do it today and don't do it tomorrow. We do it all the time, but we do it according to our means. We don't want to spoil these children and make them feel that they are entitled. We want to teach them in such a way that you celebrate them according to what comes out of your heart. And you do that. And sometimes it's good. It's okay to give a little bit more. Sometimes it's okay to give a little bit less. Whatever it is, even if a child buys a pen, we celebrate that child, excuse me, for buying that pen. We celebrate the child. Because if they didn't have think about you in, in good terms, they will not buy that pen, right? So holistic development, nurturing their, their confidence, resilience, emotional well-being, it creates a supportive, very supportive environment where they can thrive and reach their full potential. We want our children to empty out themselves, just like we are doing here, just like Mr. Ashman Farah is doing, emptying out himself into the world to help humanity. That is what we all should be doing. We want our children to explore and empty out themselves, like uh, 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 this uh, 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 preacher, May so rest in peace, uh, Dr. Miles Monroe, one of the, the greatest teachers in the Bahamas who died uh, years ago. You know, you live your life and let your children live their life to the fullest because by the time we die, we want to make sure that we empty everything out into the world, giving up, serving the world. There are so many people laying in the cemetery that they, they carry the knowledge that God gave them to the grave, to the cemetery, right? 
They didn't empty out themselves. Look at what Mr. Ashman Father is doing. He wants to empty out himself in the world. And so we want to do the same thing so that this world would never be the same because we came through this route. So thank you guys so much. I am going to read our names here. Juanita, oh my goodness. You were the first people, here, the first person here. Hello, family. I love you all. We love you too so much. Thank you so much for saying hello to everyone, uh, Juanita. Thank you. And you're saying hello to Cynthia Daring. How are you? Thank you guys so much for being here. And, uh, and, uh, well, who is this here? Hello, Juanita. I, uh, we don't advertise other platforms on here, okay? Yes, we don't do that on here because we want to keep this clean for children. This platform is basically for children, so we don't advertise uh, other people on here. Thank you so much. That's what we do here. We want to keep it very clean for children. Thank you so much. And uh, Kushal, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. And Nancy, Jody, of course, is here. Thank you so much for being here, Nancy. As always, hashtag one global movement. And Sharon is here. Hello, everyone. Evening, sister. Mundi, how are you doing tonight? I hope all is well. Hashtag one global movement. Sending hashtag one global movement hugs. Yes, one global movement hugs. Thank you so much, Sharon. And thank you for all what you're doing even when we are sleeping for One Global Movement, I highly appreciate you and your expertise with children. Thank you so much. And um, we have uh, Mohandas V is here. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. And Nancy, you're always dancing. <laughs> Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to Hashtag One Global Movement. We love you too, Nancy. Keep dancing. That's good exercise. And of course, our sister, Ruth Pace, is here. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Thank you so much for being here this evening. And uh, Jody Rice, how are you? Thank you so much. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are just such a, a very professional lady. I always read i like to read when you say hello ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and of hashtag on passive around the world yes i i think trying thank you so much uh, for for hashtagging on passive and mr ash mufara in other areas thank you so much and uh, jody says hello to the ladies and the gents oh i already read that right okay and um nancy is saying hello and root place everybody's saying hello to everyone. That is so unique. I love that. Thank you guys so much. And uh, Nancy says, on passive is clean. It has unique tools to help our children to learn in a safe environment. That is so true, valuable, and a very minimal cost so that children don't have to be paying transportation to go to other areas in search of greener pastures or education. So everything is going to be made very, very affordable, accessible, and it's going to have a lot of value. We, we're already seeing the value anywhere with uh, O-Connect, right? And hello, Sister Mundi, hashtag one global movement. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Jody Rice, wow, thank you. Hi to all of these big loving family of hashtag on passive. There is so much love in this world and passionate people to pass on to all working with our CEO, Hashtag Mr. Ash Mufari and the great teams. Yes, yes, yes. And we are learning. I've learned a lot, a lot from Mr. Ash Mufari's character. And I thank God that uh, God sent him towards us and our way. Thank you so much for saying that. And uh, Kushal says, uh, love, hashtag one global movement, love. Thank you so much, Kushal. We love you. And uh, Ruth says, hashtag one global movement. And Jody, uh, Jody Rice says, hi to uh, Dr. Mundi and your beautiful panel, Balihu, Ruth, P, Kusha, jo Juanita, Nancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I love when you're here. And the hashtag, Ashmufar, hashtag on passive, hashtag Dr. Mundi, hashtag one global movement, hashtag educate our children. Hashtag love our children. I love those hashtags. And I think AI is taking 
it a lot now because when I go to type something, it just pops up. And this is the way we do it because it would direct us towards a lot of good resources because they already know what we are all about. Of course, we are here because Mr. Ash Mufara built on Passive for Children. And in our own different endeavors, we are now using on Passive and taking these beautiful, beautiful, valuable products from Unpassive to all corners of the globe so that we can empower our children with. This is very, very important. And uh, Moklesa says, I love hashtag Unpassive. We are in it to win it. Yes, we are. And we're not going to give up. Do it or die, right? We're going to do it or we die. Thank you guys so much for welcoming one another. Thank you. And please don't forget to put your big thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much for reminding them. And of course, our brother DS Nayak is here. Hello, brother. How are you? Thank you so much for being here and always supporting One Global Movement. And we are supporting our children here. Thank you. And my one global movement, Nancy says, families, if you know, if you know one tells you they love you, I want to let you know one global movement family, family loves you. Yes. Yes, we love you. Of course, if we don't love everyone here, we cannot deal with children. That would not be a good thing to do. We must love because these children came from all of us here in order to really help these children where we must love the families. That is why we cannot help the child in isolation. We must help the entire child with the family, the mother, the parents, everybody included. We want to, we are already a global village from, from, from unpassive. We are one big global village. We want everybody included. Like Mr. Ash Mufara says, nobody is going to be left behind. And when they say so, that means we have to play our own part. We don't just sit and say, oh, he said nobody will be left behind. What are you doing while we are waiting? This is what we are doing here. And I think this is the best thing we are doing. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. And uh, celebrations are an effective way to bond memories. Family members to each other's and celebrations bring joy. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you. And Nancy says, we need to celebrate our children more often. You don't have to do a lot. After a school day, go to the park, ask them what do you want to eat after a long day at school. Show them that they love, they are loved. Yes, when you, that's what uh, we do here sometimes. You say, you know what? This is your day or this is your weekend. What kind of meal would you want us to cook? We do it. We, we all sit and celebrate. We do all the children say this is in celebration of say John, because this is John's day and this is what he picked. This is in celebration of Linda's day. This is what she picked. This, I'm telling you, the, uh, the French uh, 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 people say in French that uh, I think Nancy will know how to say it more because you speak uh, better French now more than me. I'm fast losing all my French. That uh, uh, men are led by toys, something like les hommes uh, allez aux médailles or something, something in French that men are led by toys. Those toys are gifts like this, but we don't just want empty toys. We want something that is significant to the child. Prepare a good, nourishing meal, organic meal, good meals. Pretty soon I'll be in my garden. You'll be seeing One Global Movement Garden all the time now. So thank you so much, Nancy. And when you tell someone they look beautiful or I like your outfit today, look at their face. Even they were mad. <laughs> they will look at you and smile. You imagine the impact you can make on our children. Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes when you tell them, they'll go like this, they'll look in the mirror again, they'll be, that is how to uplift the spirit of our children, but we cannot do that without doing it to our own selves. Yes. And I am just saying hello tonight, can't hang around, must leave, but I but want to welcome everyone. Thank you so much, John. You're doing a lot, a lot, John. I highly appreciate you and thank God for making you the managing director of One Global Movement. We appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. We've come to the end of the show this evening. I love you all. Tomorrow is another day at 1 p.m. We're going to do this for a long time. And the essence here, by the grace of God, we'll see if we can um, uh, 
uh, take this higher, maybe owning a one global movement radio station where children all over the world will know that this uh, uh, place belongs to them because we are preparing this stage for them and nobody else because they need to take the stage, the stages of their lives and the stage of one global movement so that we can sit back and learn alongside with them and discuss things, not imposing on them, not just be there to correct. We discuss with them so that they, they are partakers in their own growth. They all, we discuss like a child at home, he said, oh, um, uh, just activities. What, what is your opinion on this? What, what is your take on this? What we are going to do? You will see how they'll come with ideas, ideas that we don't even know. And this is how we celebrate them when they do that. We really clap. And then we can do sticky notes. Sticky notes. I, I love to do that a lot. Like these ones that are like a hat, you know? This sticky note like this is like a hat. You just write something here. You go to your child's door or the room or somewhere that is really conspicuous that they can see. You just write something beautiful and paste it there. I bet you they're not going to leave the, that note. They will just keep it. And then before you know, they, they are so creative, they will go and buy a poster. They'll put paste all these things on there. This is so beautiful. And that is art already in itself. We can do this. We can do it. And we are doing already anyway. Thank you guys so much. And I, I always like us to remind ourselves and our children to stay focused, to stay encouraged, to stay empowered, and always believe in endless opportunities. Thank you guys so much. And I love you all. Bye-bye.